Andy Johnson. We are looking at the creative process, specifically the Wallace model of creativity, a fairly common model, first developed in 1926. And there's a lot of different ones, but this is kind of the basic essence of most models. First of all, creativity is purposeful. It's not accidental. You are trying to accomplish a specific thing or solve a specific problem. How can I create this product? How can I express this idea? How can I move the football across the finish line? So it's purposeful. It is planned. And creativity is a process that occurs over time. It's not a single event. You know, all of a sudden in one second, become creative. It's a process. Let me show you. There are four steps. The first step is preparation. This is the stage where the problem is first perceived or defined. You get information about the problem and you gather it and ideas are generated. Incubation is probably the most important step. Here the conscious and unconscious mind come together to manipulate the problem, to think about the possibilities. New information is related to existing information. Existing schemata are reorganized to accommodate new information. You think about it and there has to be time between preparation. You need lots of time to incubate. Illumination is the aha where you suddenly see where you're going, the solution. And verification is an evaluative stage where the creator verifies or tests or explains or edits or revises the idea or solution to make it better. There are four steps. So the implications is you want to start your projects early enough to provide time for incubation. If I'm doing a writing project, I have to expect it to happen over time. When you have space between the start and the finish, when you sleep, when you do other things, you engage the unconscious mind. You need to involve the unconscious mind. Creativity occurs over time. If you have a project, again, start it early so that you have days in between to engage your unconscious mind. You actually spend less total time and you have a better product if you're able to do this. Now stress, some people like to wait till the last minute to really get motivated. Stress is not good for deep creativity. You do not get your best ideas there. The Wallace Model of Creativity.